Hello, teachers, parents, and educational leaders, and welcome to this episode of Breaking Down the Best. Now, during this episode, you will get a peek into the members-only area where I have tons of resources to help you make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. There should be a link somewhere around this video where you can learn more. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it and let's break down the standard. Welcome to Breaking Down the Best, a video series dedicated to breaking down Florida's best standards for math. So grab something to write with and maybe even a snack. This looks good. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. There you go, I see you. And let's dive into today's best standard. Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Sarah McCarthy, the creator of McCarthy Math Academy. And I just wanna thank you for taking time out of your crazy busy schedule to join me on this episode of Breaking Down the Best, where today we will go over the standard MA.3.NSO.2.1. MA stands for math for third grade. NSO stands for number sense operations. And then we're on 2.1. All right. So this standard says to add and subtract multi-digit whole numbers, including using standard algorithm with procedural fluency. I made a note right here that this is the final stage. Um, really students in previous years have started with the first stage right here. Kind of think of it like steps, right? The first step is to explore adding and subtracting. And then in the second stage, maybe we're using place value blocks to explain. And then finally, in this third stage, we're using standard algorithm, which is really the regular way that most people know how to add and subtract, okay? Now it does say a standard algorithm and we'll get into that. It's not, there's not one specific way, it is the one way that we could do it. Um, all right, let's see what other connecting standards go with this. So we know NSO.1.4 for third grade, that's rounding, which is awesome because in rounding, we learn that through rounding, we can become better at estimating. And I highly suggest that while you're adding and subtracting numbers with the standard, that you have your students round to determine the reasonableness of an answer first. We also have 3.AR.1.2, which is one and two step word problems with four operations. Two of those operations are adding and subtracting, so that connects. We also have MA.3.M.1.2, which is solving measurement word problems. So we'll be adding and subtracting in that standard too. Some terms that you need to know, expression is like two plus three, there is no equal sign present. An equation is, yes, there is an equal sign present. Um, and then a whole number is zero and up. In other words, no fractions, no decimals. Okay, so where are they coming from and where are they going to? Well, they're coming from second grade where they're adding sums to 20, adding and subtracting sums to 20. Um, also finding 10, or 100 more or less. NSO.2.3 for second grade is adding and subtracting using procedural reliability. That's that second step up here that I was talking about. So you can learn more about where they're coming from by searching that standard. Um, and MA.2.NSO.2.4 is adding and subtracting exploration up to 1000. So taking that step up. So that's the step up really into this standard and yeah all right remember up here it said using a standard algorithm right in the standard well right here it does make a note to say that students choices of standard algorithms for addition and subtraction do not need to be the same they just need to be able to justify their use of the standard algorithm they should be able to explain if and when regrouping is needed and how regrouping is computed using their chosen algorithm. Um, something else that jumped out at me was vertical and horizontal form. So they might see it vertic, that's not vertical, they might see it horizontally, they might see it vertically, but most of the times I do recommend that you transfer a horizontal form into a vertical form to add them up. It does make it more simple in my opinion. Um, 
and that that gives opportunities for the commutative and associative properties. Uh, it could do that with regrouping, I guess. I made a note over here that commutative is when you're switching the order of your add-ins, like 200 plus 300 is going to have the same value as 300 plus 200. Doesn't matter the order that you go. Associative is similar to commutative, you just have more add-ins. So like 100 plus 300 plus 200 would get you the same value as 200 plus 300 plus 100, just switching up the order. Um, and then here it did say that it should be taught with our rounding standard, which we discussed if you watched the rounding video, that the whole point for rounding is to find the estimation to determine the reasonableness of an actual answer, which we do in the standard as well. What else jumped out? Ooh, I boxed some and difference because there's a lot of times that students see these words and they do not know what they mean. Some means that we are adding, difference means that we are finding the difference, we're subtracting. So yeah, all right, let's break into your resources and see how you can make learning fun for your students with your McCarthy math, taking on the best membership. All right, members enter here. Taking on the best. We are in third grade, still in our NSO operations, and we are on adding and subtracting multi-digit numbers. So we'll click that. Okay. Now, if you have a bronze membership, silver membership, or gold membership, you do have access to these bronze resources. The bronze resources are the video lessons and the printable workbook pages right next to it. So in this one, it says addition of multi-digit numbers. Here's your printable guide. You can see that in the video, we're going to talk about what addition is using some of these models. Then we will solve some real world problems and break down why we are adding in these. Notice that it does say to estimate and then determine the exact value for each. So we do do that in the video lessons. Same thing with subtraction. There are three different scenarios that we break down in this video lesson. There's actually two lessons on subtraction. So if you need a quick review on what those are, feel free to watch those video lessons. And again, we go over the model. We draw a model for it. We estimate and then we determine the exact amount with these video lessons. So it is applying that estimation rounding skill as well. Okay, so that's your bronze. You got three videos there and three printable pages that go along with the videos. If you have the silver or gold membership, you also have access to these resources. You can always go back to your bronze. Okay, so for your silver, you have some more printables. You have answer keys and you have two in this one. You have two math misconception mystery videos here. These math misconception mystery videos are a lot of fun. The whole premise is I dress up as four different characters. Three of them do something to make a mistake. They make a common mistake that students usually make. One of them is correct and students then get to play detective and figure out who solved it right. What did the student, what did the characters do incorrectly? And they file their detective report. And uh, let's take a look at some of the printables you have. So we've got the video lesson. Then after that video lesson, you have some extra practice using rounding to estimate to find the sum, which we go over that word, then find the exact sum. So I think there's two practices there. We've got another video lesson with subtraction and an extra practice for that. Another video lesson with subtraction and an extra practice for that. Couple different. Oh, and then we get into a couple more where we have addition and subtraction. So students have to figure out which operation is being used in this. Okay. Then we have a math mission with some data. Um, it says that part one, they have to create an addition word problem using the chart, then solve the problem, create a subtraction word problem, then solve the problem. So the math missions are awesome because they take all these skills of the standard, they kind of combine them together and really get the kids thinking, which we all love, right? And then this is the math misconception mystery problem for the first one is finding the sum. So there's four characters again, one of them will solve it correctly, the other three will not. And this is the report page. 
What did these characters do that was correct? What was their error? What do they need to know for next time? And then you have two of them for this because we're adding and subtracting. So here's one with subtraction. All right, so those are your printables for your silver. I'll show you an example of the answer key, just so you can see that you have, it might look like there's a lot of empty space and there's not a whole lot of work to be done, but in these video lessons, there are a lot of expectations for these students. So look at all this work. We're taking notes, we're modeling, we're estimating, we're finding the, the exact sum or difference using a standard algorithm. Okay, you definitely take a look at that. All right. And if you have access to the gold membership, you also have a mini assessment at your hands, um, Math McCarthy Math 155 lessons, and of course this video ad free. So here's a copy of the mini assessment, different types of problems, just a quick check to see if the students got it, multi-select problem, here's one where they got a, it's an error analysis problem, okay? I'm not gonna show you the answer key, but it's right there if you wanna see it. And breaking down the best, that's this video. So by the time you see it, there will actually be a video there for you to click on, which is probably what you're watching right now. <laughs> and McCarthy Math 155, you do in the gold package, you have access to McCarthy Math. And there are tons and tons of videos in the adding and subtracting numbers video. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my goodness, so many video lessons there to take it up a notch with that extra practice that you have access to. Now these video lessons are aligned for 155. They are aligned to the common core standards, but for this particular standard, they will still apply. So you actually have a lot of practice there. So that's awesome. All right. So that's it for this standard, 3.nso.2.1. Before we go, let me remind you that what you choose to do with your life, it really matters. I totally believe in you. I believe in our students. Our students are our why, because they are the future. I know that this profession is crazy. It's busy. We are exhausted, but it matters. It is worth it. We may never know how our time with our students truly impacts them, but we have to believe that we helped them to take steps into the people that they were born to be. With that said, thanks for joining me on this episode of Breaking Down the Best, and I cannot wait to see you real soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so I know that I just said goodbye for now, but I'm going to ask you to do one more thing, okay? If you enjoyed this episode, please consider sharing it with your teacher friends or other leaders in education. That's how I get to continue doing what I love to do, which of course is supporting you all to the best <laughs> of my ability. All right, for real now. Bye!